It's been about two years since me and the boys secured this cave on Valgaro. With a ton of changes to caves and servers modifying almost every base spot that exists, there's not many true vanilla caves left in Ark, but here lies one of the best caves that exists on official Ark. And with a fresh wipe of over 1,000 players for a highly contested cluster, this wipe was truly one for the books. Mech this shit down, boys. Ah, uh -huh. shit. Here we go again. Got him. Well, that tower was easy. Those are my bullets. Got another. This fob is massive. Bullet one. Killed one. Get like eight teams on. Oh, you're getting grappled, kid. Got one. Got two. So bad. Killed all three of them. Wow, that was a huge hole in the wall. Okay. They uh, made a massive breach, boys. Oh, that was half the wall, and that's over capped now. But like all of the greatest stories in Ark, we have to go back where we start fresh on a max pop Valgaro server as a level 1 beach bob and spawn on the Chalk Hills 2 Oasis to get the closest spawn with the necessary resources to quickly run to the spider cave and claim it for our main base location. We're gonna go Danny Phantom, and I have to go Chalk Hills 2. Okay, this is good boys. Let's create this new survivor. All right guys, so my goal is to run through the chalk hills. I have to get silk from a Lymantria and get some keratin as well. So we're gonna have to kill one. We gotta be the first person to make it to the spider cave. The run is a little long. I'm skipped island, so I am level one. I could just switch it up a little bit, try a different strat. Let's do my one level into crafting skill so I can craft stuff quicker. Okay, we're already here. We get the wood. Okay, mesas are tons of weight. All right, good to know. Keep that in mind. Let's get my stone. Okay, we're just gonna have to do this run. There's gonna be more. Get the thatch we need for parachutes. All right, we're good. Okay, let's get moving. We need to find an Ovis. We need to find a Lymantria still. Okay, there's the Lymantria we need. Let's just kill this real quick. Get the hide we need. Okay, we're good. Let's kill this and then let's get the f out of here. It's the last thing we need. There we go. We got the kites we need for the saddle. All right, let's get moving. We're good now. Okay, I have everything I need. All right, we're good to go. All right, I need to knock out a PT somewhere here. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, why is their pathing so good? Right? At this point, it was only seven minutes into the season, and I've already made it to the spider cave with a bed. The problem is, this cave requires a gas mask to not take damage, guys, and has some insanely high level stuff in it, so I still need a little spot where I could respawn nearby and continue to respam the location in case I die in there really quick. I almost have like 30 bounties. Okay, I'm spamming off Spider Cave right now. My first run, I got a decent amount done. At this point, while I was spamming off the what? cave, Reddy was the first person over on Crystal Isles farming the underwater drops with the Manta Ray, and he actually managed to have a super successful run. The mobs in there are level 400. That's actually insane. I'm gonna get my kit, get the flyer, and head over to the starter spot now. Max level PT. Let's get off server. I'm coming to Gen 2 now. After taming a couple Tyranodons, I transferred my character over to Genesis 2 to help work on our new starter base. It was near Skyborder in the hard zone and would be a perfect location for us to snowball early game. Next video, Bam dies to eels. I'm like below the, um, below the hill. Proximus uh, Caesar. No, it's Proximus Caesar. I named it below bed. Venus. 
So you lost our finding fortress bam or no? Yeah. Okay, I'll start making them. Because uh, you, you left. It says you're good. All right, 11 forges. Just put them down. It's okay. We need to get all the starter mats for uh, turrets in the base ASAP. Once I got the forges up, I crafted some metal tools, then went and quickly trapped our first RG for defense. Oh, whoa. 150. Oh, crazy, guys. First RG I find is a 150. I just killed the level 15. I didn't even realize this was the 150. Right now, I'm going to try to get the starter base up for the tribe. Um, we need to get some progression down on the base so we're safe. The spot we're going for is pretty sick, guys. I'm really excited for it. It's been a while since I've lived in there. It seems like it's up there. It's one of the best caves on, on this server. One of our biggest weaknesses, of course, is grapple glitching and PT spinning. But every base has a weakness. I'm pretty excited to defend this spot, though. It's pretty easy to defend. Should have a nice season. There we go. Sick. All right. Got an RG. Let's crawl this up real quick. Hope that's gunnies. It's not. Oh, wait, hit that shit. Bro, he keeps getting desynced, bro. The guy that was trying to get up to my base spot ended up getting away. And Ratty just transferred back to the main server because other people started running the underwater cave on Crystal Isles. But luckily for us, guys, he already got a massive haul within the first 20 minutes of wipe. And this would really help us out a ton. Are you sure that's not my trap? Bro. How the f do we have all these blueprints already? Sh should I put this in a foundry? What the hell, Reddy? You're crazy, dude. I told you. I told you, Reddy. It's the juice. What the f***? Yo, I want a weapon. Can I have one of these weapons? They're right here. Oh, are they at our base right now? Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the guys I was just fighting. While I was stashing everything inside of a foundation, Ratty found our new enemy's base right beside ours on another pillar. It turns out that they were trying to live right beside us guys and actually had some numbers. So we took our new weapons that he got and went over real quick just to eliminate all of their flyers and set them back another 20 minutes or so. Nice bro. Get rid of their saddles. We'll just take them. If you guys can get to base and make a fabby, we could wipe these kids. The placing's here right now. I picked him? Kill it, kill it, kill it. He's dead? Oh, he had a velo on him. After wiping all the flyers, the tribe just decided to push for C4 first, so we crafted up a debt and two C4 to quickly go wipe their base. Unfortunately for us, within the time frame of us crafting the C4, they picked up everything inside the base, guys, and moved locations. That's crazy. There you go. Oh, that's good, though. That's good, though. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now that the enemies were neutralized, it was time to work on defenses for the base. So I crafted up a generator and put some cables inside the foundations to hide them. Then crafted up the first turrets to defend our base. Okay, let's make our first four turrets, guys. I just put generator in the floor. And I don't know if I can even make any ammo, but that's better than zero. 44 bullets. 11 for each turret. Absolute joke. Um, but it's better than that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to think we're unrateable. All right, 11 in each turret, boys. Let's go. I'm just making the basement right now so we don't get ready. Oh, we need pearls, I guess. Chris is probably uh, leader today. Oh, let's go to Scorched Earth. 
Once the base was strong enough for me to comfortably transfer off server, I quickly transferred my character over to Scorched Earth to do a pearl run before taming our first angler. Unfortunately, I got absolutely steamrolled by a group controlling the SC pearl area, so I rekitted back up at base and the tribe told me about a super busted flint strat that has now taken over the spark powder meta, so I transferred my character over to the extinction desert to see what they were talking about and honestly guys, I don't think I'm ever going back to farming the original way again. So what, I just hit these things? Yeah. 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 All those rockers that you see, just What the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, this is so balanced. This is balanced, boys. Yeah, this is so balanced. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm telling you, you're gonna beat them out. Decent, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Small fucker is almost at 100k off of five rocks, bro. Wait. Like even, if this was unofficial, I'd just be capped like on normal stacks, right? Well, the thing is with official, though, is you keep the weight. Yeah, oh, yes. Okay. Uh, so the weight's the problem then, but it's still busted. Okay, let's see if I can make uh, eight autos. Okay, sick, boys. We're in business now. Can defend the base pretty easily. Let's get these down and start making some A or B. We need to get the chem bench as well. Oh, we already got spinos. That's huge. Here we go. We got 600 A or B, boys. 50 in every turret. Yo, what is this egg hatchery? Who placed this? I did. Are you trying to get us raided, bro? Making, uh, making two chem benches. up spark powder okay make an air b now that we had enough autos on the base and some air b to fill them Riley went over to extinction with the shotgun and quickly got to level 100 for heavies oh, then replaced the top turrets on our base with heavies go, so the dude. pillar was a lot more secure and oh, then we yeah, used boys. the rest of the resources in base to craft up our first industrial forge this is the first ever server i played with s plus industrial forges guys and look how small this thing was it actually fits inside our base it's pretty insane get this on the roof. Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is this thing? What is this, bro? <laughs> what the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> He's the same size as it, bro. We gotta get plant X seeds still, but let's get these crop plots down. It's like 40. There we go. Keep the spark powder going. Okay, cooker's down. All the tintos are pulled into the cooker. Looks like brews are being made. Making two more industrial forges. I'll put the toilet down still. So. Alright, we have enough plan X now to defend the base, I think. Can you make seven heavy, uh, heavies? I think it's all the ground turrets. Just pick the ground turrets up. Once he turned all of our ground turrets to heavies, we had nearly 20 heavies on the base now. To be honest guys, there wasn't really much that could raid us right now, especially once our plan X was finished growing. But now it's time to start getting ready for our first boss fight. I figured a ton of other people were also going to be doing this. So when I was finished, I baited the last drop for a free kill. Maximum carb intake. Are you fucking serious bro? Let's see if I can hit this guy. Jen is not a bad spot either. Good What's the best way to get, uh, can you get maximize the meat from that fishing area? On here, uh... Got him. Later, nerd. Just crap on like that. Hell yeah, bull pump that kid. That was rather embarrassing. I'm just gonna get all those tributes to base real quick. Oh, <laughs> he, he's they're currently on. They're currently he, all on. Trust he casually, he casually Ooh. mentions after. What is this, man? Bro's <laughs> got the all, all sure crap. Oh, we're literally, we literally get wiped from this contraption. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, 
Uh, that's the second defense. They gotta blow through Fab first. Uh, they get straight down. Boy. Damn, boy. Alright, uh. Alright, I'm gonna go do this raid, sir. Here we go. Okay, when you guys ping it. It turns out there was a group right beside us with a super hidden base with heavies. Me and the boys figured we could cheese all of the turrets, so we decided to raid it real quick. Like Someone you. put a bed down? <laughs> yeah, you're shaved? Nice. It's really yeah, right below right, us. Right we can just third person C4 this, can we? There's four heavies. Yeah, I don't know that. Okay. I'm just ready to something. Too far. Someone just fired. It's me. It's me. Okay. It's I'll blow the base. Okay. Right, I, no, 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 I see, I see. Take on, take on. Oh shit, there's two. Stand clear, stand clear. Go, this is go, down. Go, go, go. Oh nice. Oh shit! Yeah, there's, there's a lot of. Oh, the smithy, nice. RG, Barry. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. Uh, Alright, success. We were almost ready to do our first boss fight for Engrams, but we still needed cakes for our rhinos, so I transferred over to Fjorder to hit up the farms around the map, and then brought back tons of crops to the base so we could craft up some more cakes. I spent some time leveling up all of our rhinos so they would be good enough for the boss, and crafted up all the shotgun ammo we would need in case the manticore didn't land. Then my tribe mates and I all got into upload so we could put a bed down on our drop, and then we could finally start our first boss fight. Everything was going super well, but then this happened. Uh, let's go, boys. Damn, this is a big ass start. I forgot how big this bitch was, huh? Hopefully, everyone actually gets TP'd. I didn't get TP'd. Uh, hello? Are you, are you serious right now? Uh, uh, did we just lose our fucking <laughs> Oh my god, dude. No <laughs> We're all just no. sitting. Bro. <laughs> Dude. No, it was supposed to take us, god damn it, no! <laughs> what the After about 30 minutes, we ended up getting refunded for the tributes on the glitched boss fight, so we regrouped and tried it again. Amazing okay, I'm gonna pull the, the, the dragon. Please. Himself, you heard okay. It. Okay, we're all Everyone in. in. Yeah. Don't worry, friends. I am here. Oh. <laughs> Done. Oh my. I got the Ellie. Light work, boys. Let's go. That's it, boys. Let's go. Right, let's take out our base, boys. Shit on. That was scary. Once we finished the boss, I realized we actually completely forgot to farm black pearls, so I flew over to the snow biome on Crystal Isles to hit up the floating spears to farm up a ton of black pearls so we could fully tech out our base. Lots of black pearls in this one. Wait, what are y'all trying to do? Oh, Thank you, sir. Okay, I'm crafting two transmitters. He's using the 300. Two away. generators. Okay. Tech man, that was huge. Gotta craft 20 tech turrets if we can. Nice one. All right, let's see. At this point, I was getting a little tired because I woke up super early to run all my errands before wipe day. So I took initiative to place down some more turrets and up the defenses on our plateau so we didn't get wipe day one. <laughs> Make some shards for the tech turrets. I just made 25 tech grenades if we have to break tech turrets just in case. 
It does. It does three. Curse three. Holy oh, shit! Okay, yeah. we got enough to raid that for sure. Sick. Two slash fill. All right, tech turrets have twelve hundred in each. Wonderful. We are now unraidable. Yeah, essentially, I think. Have that uh, side defended as well. Pretty good. Pretty strong base already. To be honest. Val two spider not built. That's huge. Let's get a dire wolf. Okay, transmitter, generator. Luckily for us, there's actually multiple Valgaro servers because the original one we chose to spam off in the beginning actually got cleared and an enemy put a ton of tech turrets in the entrance. Well, fortunately, we progressed quick enough to get enough extra tech stuff to finally start claiming our main base spot. We still needed a few things to clear out the entire cave, but for now, it was time to go lock down the crouch point. Wait, wait, you said we locked the element, right? We got it back. We got it back. Huh? What run are you doing? Uh, what? Uh, I'm in... Here's the shit. Custom house, man. 40 HP mantles. It takes like... Look at the ancient secret. Oh. I meant to. It went worse. Uh -oh. We have pretty good turret coverage all around the back side of this cave from when we get the wall up. Alright, this spotted cave is pretty secured now. Got some spam in that OP spot now. So for the wall, so our last wall, this tree was in front of the wall, right? The wall goes just over that rock, right? Does I don't really want to build that? this, to be honest. All right. Well, there's structures here to build the wall. Whoever would like to build the wall. Oh, there you I didn't 100% trust the dire wolf method since it was just added this season. So since sleeping bags were disabled, enemies had to have a bed on a foundation. So I quickly went through the entire cave trying to place a cliff platform just checking for enemy foundies. The cave was clear of beds guys and there was no foundations. So I gave the tribe the okay to begin building the wall. I don't think there's a bed anywhere. Diagonally like this. That's what we did. But like you can also like do this on this tree. Remember? And the tree can have its own turrets. Well, I hope to come back to a super epic base. That's fine. I can come underneath through here with the cinematic camera. So this is going to be where the, the war room is. Pretty much. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, really Sex. So yeah, you guys literally spammed off the whole back part already. Oh my god, bro. Jesus. Oh, I did the whole three floors, but. <laughs> bro. Alright guys, well, we are going to have to end today's episode here. If you enjoyed this video at any time, please smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, let's try to get this video to 1,000 likes to try to help it out on the YouTube algorithm. But besides that, guys, I really hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next one.